Okay, so I'm just gonna do a quick little unboxing video of something pretty exciting from King of the Arachnids. So I've been looking forward to this and some pretty interesting and unique species that I haven't uh, actually had before. So yeah, let's open it up. Stunning Selenotypus rose plumapes. These plumapes get to a pretty decent size. Yeah, she is. She's beautiful. A little bit of a size comparison. I'll have to give her a proper measure when I get her out. I'll let her settle in and give her a couple of crickets later too if she's feeling up for it. She is beautiful. You can see those pyloerect hairs and like four there, and they've got that kind of called a feather leg they've also got kind of like a golden rose tinge to them beautiful yeah, I've been wanting to get a, a larger selenotypus for a while now and other thing too, is we've got small Phlogius species black, you can see it in there. And I'll try and get some photos once I get it out later and put them in their little home. Okay, so this is something a bit more typical of uh, a dry dwelling species of um, the spiders in the family Animidae. Uh, largely clay based substrate with sand mixed in to help with drainage and some sand mixed on top and obviously some decorations. Um, mostly just the visual appeal <laughs> so yeah a bit of an experiment with the uh, uh, with this rose plumer piece so uh, I've done similar setups before that have been very successful with other cylinder spiders um, so 
Yeah, but they've been much smaller, so we'll just see how this larger one goes. There we can get a nice shot of her. species black in there and normally I like to give them a few days to kind of settle in and um, web up their enclosure but I uh, might try giving this little guy a cricket uh, just to plump him up a little bit he's got a bit of a reduced abdomen size there but still looks healthy and Definitely has a lot of energy like most Fojis do. Yeah, so I just wanted to talk a bit more about the substrate used in this. So it's just a pretty basic peat substrate mixed in with a bit of sphagnum moss and red desert sand. Um, yeah, pretty pretty simple something I use occasionally for the Florigius not really for anything else uh, with things like selenotypus I usually like to use a clay based substrate with sand mixed in to just kind of create better burrows because I find that they like to burrow a lot more than the Florigius do um, at least at this size most of the Florigius I have are juveniles and pretty happy just to web up an enclosure and make it their own. Okay, I just wanted to feed this guy a little cricket, see if he'll take it. <laughs> 